from the far horizons of the unknown come tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of a future. Adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine, presents X minus one. We go forward in time to the days when war has been outlawed, and in its place, there is a system of carefully controlled, legalized murder. The story, The Seventh Victim, by Robert Sheckley. Is that the mail, Jenny? Bring it right in. No, no, it isn't the mail. Are you anxious, Stan? Well, you know how it is when you're waiting for notification. It's been two weeks the government's behind schedule, as usual. Oh, that's always the way it is. Now, when you get to be my age, you won't worry about it anymore. At 73, you can afford to wait for the mail. Well, how about the ad? Have you got it done? Sure, E.J. Want me to play it back for you? Of course I recorded it myself. We'll have an actor in for the actual recording. You ready? Go ahead. Hi there, neighbor. When you're in a crowd, when you're among strangers, do you feel safe? Are you protected by that vital underarm area? You aren't, unless you own a protect suit. The finest tailoring in the world has gone into a Morger and Freeline protect suit to make it the leader in men's fashion. Protect suit is the safest as well as the smartest. Every protect suit comes with special built-in gun pocket guaranteed not to bulge. Oh, nice, very nice. A touch of the concealed button throws the gun into your hand, cock, safety off. Why not drop into the protect store nearest you? Why not be all safe? Oh, that's fine, Stan. That's fine. That's a very nice, dignified commercial. Mm -hmm. And you can relax. I picked up the mail just before I came in. Here's your notification. That's it, that's it. Look, from the ECB, that's the baby. Oh, you're not going to open it now. Oh, no, 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 of course not. No one is supposed to know the victim's name except the hunter. That's right. Have a good hunt, boy. You need a kill. 
Hey, you've been all teed up. Well, it's too bad you have to retire, <laughs> E.J. Well, I got into the Tens Club. Ten hunts? That's not such a bad record. Of course not. Ten hunts, and then, of course, victim in between. That's 20 kills. Mm -hmm. I sure hope my victim isn't anyone like you. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, what number will this be? My seventh. Lucky seven. Go to it. We'll get you into the tens club yet. Uh, by the way, I, I got a circular in the mail. Uh, maybe you'd like to use it. Hmm. Maybe. Victims, why take chances? Use an O'Donovan accredited spotter. Let us locate your assigned killer. Pay after you get him. Oh. Well, uh, thanks a lot, E.J., but uh, I've got my own spotter. Very good fellow. Well, I suppose you're anxious to get home, open up, and find out who your victim is. What's that? Oh, shooting down the hall. I guess somebody got his victim. Good for him, eh? You bet. <laughs> oh, it feels wonderful, E.J. I feel alive again. Hello, Ed. Freeline. Oh, hi, Mr. Freeline. I'm going out on one, Ed. Wow. Good luck, Mr. Freeline. I, I suppose you want me to stand by. Yeah, that's right. I don't expect to be gone more than a week or two. I'll probably get my notification of victim status within three months of the kill. Well, I'll be standing by. A good hunting, Mr. Freeline. Uh, you'll be sure to save time for me now, Ed. I'd hate to be caught as a victim without a first-class spotter on my side, huh? Don't you worry, Mr. Freeline. I'll be right there in your corner. I've got a couple of good ideas for an ambush that I haven't tried yet. Good, good. Well, I'll get back in touch with you right after the kill. So long. <laughs>